Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in June of this year, I posted a video letting you know that Microsoft had announced major Outlook security changes. Now that video will be linked down below and in the end screen, um, but just a quick recap. Um, basically, Microsoft had announced to Outlook users that the current authentication method will be changed, letting go of its basic authentication method to create a stronger a more secure one and um, go check that video out for more info now that was back in june and just to let you know now that microsoft has started sending out a final notice email and this isn't the first time they've sent out an email warning users of this and here's just a microsoft community forum where someone asked the question about this um, email and this file the notice is all about, Microsoft says, it says you may lose access to some of your third party mail and calendar apps. Now, why Microsoft is doing this is they are warning you, um, if you are using third party mail and calendar apps to access Outlook email, to move from basic authentication to modern authentication. And modern authentication is like two factor authentication, OAuth2 token based as an example. And Apps that don't support modern authentication will stop working with Outlook starting today, the 16th of September 2024. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up um, because obviously this could affect a good couple of users. Now, if you want to know about all of this, I'll leave this post linked down below because it'll give you all the information you need. But basically, in a nutshell, just to recap what this is all about, Microsoft has said previously, and I'm quoting, Starting six, September 16th, Microsoft personal email account users, so as an example, Outlook.com and Hotmail.com, Live.com, will need to move to modern authentication methods in their email application. This will be necessary for all Outlook users. So they carry on to say, to help keep Outlook personal email accounts secure, starting today, September 16, 2024, Microsoft will no longer support basic authentication. The method in which a person provides only their username and password to sign into their account. And then carry on to say, as of September 16 again, that's today, Outlook will require that all those with a Microsoft email account use a mail or calendar app or the Outlook.com website which supports modern authentication such as the latest versions of Outlook, Apple Mail or Thunderbird. And as mentioned, Microsoft has... Um, sent out an email previously regarding this and i'll leave that video i posted on that also linked down below and in the end screen now the whole move towards modern authentication is part of microsoft's um, move uh, because of the secure future initiative and what that is all about the secure future initiative is it resulted after years of cyber security attacks that affected microsoft heavily including breaches involving its Azure cloud services. So that's why Microsoft is moving from basic authentication regarding this to modern authentication because it's more secure, um, if you were wondering. Now, Microsoft has given us details um, regarding modern authentication and um, which apps it is supported on and the app versions. So if we just scroll down here, and as mentioned, this will be linked down below if you want all the information you would need. So in this paragraph here, Microsoft says, Outlook supports modern authentication in all current Microsoft 365 subscription SKUs and Outlook 2021 LTSC. Any SKU with build 11601.10,000 or higher when connecting directly as Outlook.com. If your Outlook is configured to connect to Outlook.com using POP or RMAP, modern authentication is not supported. This means that when basic authentication is fully deprecated, it will no longer connect. For this scenario, you have a few options, okay? And that's the supported um, app versions. Now, if we head down to this paragraph, it says the following versions of Outlook Desktop do not support modern, modern authentication for Outlook.com. Outlook 2007, Outlook 2010, Outlook 2013, Outlook 2016 MSR, Outlook 2019 LTSC. Any release of Outlook desktop with a version less than 11601.10,000 does not support modern authentication for Outlook.com. So 
as mentioned, this will be linked down below because it gives you all the information you would need if you are confused. But I'm just giving you this quick heads up video because I have posted on this and just letting you know today that today, the 16th of September, is the deadline. So um, just putting it out there because I know this is going to be affecting quite a couple of you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.